Season three of Game Guys. Season three of Game Guys. Dad has successfully defeated Knight Artorius, Gwen Lord of Cinder, Manus Thought of the Abyss, the Nameless King, which took him over 250 attempts, and of course he slayed the Soul of Cinder, the final boss of Dark Souls 3, the final boss of Season 2. And now we're going on our new adventure, Season 3, we are playing Bloodborne. My and dad everything is... everything that he just said seems just like yesterday. Interesting, <laughs> yeah. Seems like yesterday, that... Anyways. All right, so here we are. I I, I am going to be Boomda. Yep, and he is I'm, Boomda. I'm be a mature male. Yep, because he's old as shit. Because, <laughs> well, no, there is actually an older. There's an older than. than oh yeah, there's like, there's. You could be aged. If we could, you could be okay, aged. Okay, yeah. So so young adult, middle aged adult, grandpa is basically your three flavors of age. Right. right. All right. So. Are you satisfied with how your character looks? Uh, okay, so I don't care. So okay, in that case, you have a build in mind. So that, just that, get me to. I ask you a question. Yes or no? We move on. Yes. Yes, he's fine. Yes. Okay. Oh, you Click mean like origin. like, like hit, okay? Yes. I wanted to. Okay. I wanted to make sure all the other settings were fine before we moved on. That was the point of my question. Well, yeah, boom, right. da, male, mature. Press the, okay, now, one thing is my dad is actually using an Xbox Series X controller on a PlayStation exclusive game streaming via PlayStation Plus. So my dad's got Xbox buttons memorized, but now he's got to, like, <laughs> remap. Now he's got to think, instead of, instead of, like, A, B, X, Y, now he has to think X, circle, square, triangle. See now this 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 controller the pulse fire actually red. has actually has color dots next to the so it it so it's it's blue yellow red green so it, it's it's giving me the oh that's oh okay that's just the Xbox well those are colors. the Xbox colors yeah no no that's oh so that oh that's real so now that's gonna confuse me even more eh, okay. I might have to put little stickies on these. It doesn't matter. So origin. So what he's saying is when he was when he's when he's gonna be saying, Dad, Dad, press, press, press squares, is, press square, press square. I think meaning, I think I think it's gonna take us ten episodes just to get out of Central Yarnum. I'm calling it now. C press the A button on origin. A is X. Okay. No, now the no, no, A is A. A is A. Don't. Okay, A is A, yeah. A is A, yes. All right, so. The starting origins determine your starting stats to the right over here. <laughs> but I'm gonna, let's go over the stats quickly, just, just so, okay. Level, that's your level. Explanatory. Blood okay. Echoes. This is, the, this is the currency you use to level up. These are your soul points. In this game, it's called Blood Echoes. Okay, all right, so that's, okay. So, so that's... it's not souls, it's Blood Echoes that you're okay. gaining to level up. Okay. The six attributes. Vitality increases max health. Pretty straightforward. Endurance okay. increases max stamina. I believe it also increases minor amounts of stamina regeneration. I don't remember that exactly. But vitality increases max health. Endurance increases max stamina. Strength is... It's the same as Dark Souls. You... You put points in the strength to use, like, the big boy weapons, the big right. strong weapons. Okay. Skill is this game's version of dexterity. Instead of okay. dexterity, it's called skill. So okay. it's your it's your fast movies, spammy so, weapons. Okay. Now we get to the two unique stats of this game. First, we got Blood Tinge. We are going to completely ignore Blood Tinge. All I'm going to say is it's because related... Because of our build or yeah. your vision. Okay. Blood, Blood Tinge, it's basically... It's related more to the f to the guns and the firearms. So if you want to do like a gun firearm build in Bloodborne, you would dump points into Blood and Tinge. And there's other there's specific melee weapons that also scale with that stat. So if you put points into Blood and Tinge, that one weapon does more damage. We are not doing that. So okay. we are ignoring Blood and Tinge. Okay. And we are ignoring we're basically ignoring strength, skill, and Blood and Tinge. All three of those attributes we don't care about because the build I have in mind, we won't need to put points into any of this. 
Well, our, well, I am already I am already adept at not applying skill to things. So, okay. Uh, the, so that we're, we've got a good head start there. Now the final stat, Arcane. This is going to be our primary damage boosting scaling stat. We are going to be doing an arcane build in Bloodborne. Oh. Okay. You know the magic. You, you know how you were kind of curious about the magic system. Yeah. We're, we're gonna we're gonna be doing some magic. We're doing oh. we're doing pure arcane. And, so and, but, and parrying. We're gonna be doing parrying. All right. Uh, yes. Especially okay. in the early to mid game. Lots okay. of parrying in the early game because. Basically, that's, that's we're gonna the new thing I'm trying in, the, yep. in this one is. is oh no, uh, you're gonna have to. No, you are going to have to with some of the bigger, tougher enemies. It's the, the new thing I'm gonna have to do in this game. <laughs> yep. So okay, so Dad, I'm gonna tell you right now. The only two attributes I actually give a shit about is vitality and arcane. Those are the only two attributes I care about. Endurance, possibly depending on what. Okay, so but. So Endurance, want, we, maybe a little bit, but... So we want the starting character who's going to have the most in, in endurance in our game. We're going down... Go to Cruel Fate. Scroll down to Cruel Fate. A few moments later. All right, Dad. So we're at the... Uh, we're at the starting origins. Go ahead and scroll down to Cruel Fate. All right. Okay, so with Cruel Fate... It has the highest starting arcane stat of 14. We also get a, a vitality stat of 10, which is pretty decent. Endurance of 12, which is okay. It has the lowest blood tinge. We don't care about this. Right. And strength and skill, it's it's just good enough for the weapons. For, well, one of the potential weapons you'll be using. And endurance is, yeah. So pick Cruel Fate. Press okay. the A button. All right, now scroll down to finish. And let's get started. Finalized contract, yes. Okay. Okay, I gotta get my my HD my HD my my SD vision going because everything's fuzzy when I when I'm looking at it now, and for some reason I I play better when I can't see it as clearly. <laughs> this is fun. I'm Good. I'm really looking forward to this. Almost signed and sealed. It's Grandpa uh, with the hat in the wheelchair. He's gonna go and pump you full of blood. Da, 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 da. Happens, you may think it all a mere bad dream. We don't have to watch the cutscene. You can skip it if you wish. But it's, it's an interesting little early intro bit. Well... Because we're about to see a dog. We're going to see a dog. <gasps> Who's a good boy? Is he a Looks good like boy? The Ghostbusters dog. Where's Rick Moranis? He's a good boy. Hey! Hey! Let me do your, let me do your taxes. What is this? Oh, these are the messengers. They're actually, they're, they're terrifying looking, but they're actually friendly and they're actually here to help. They're just really creepy. And uh, yeah. So they're like a welcome wagon. <sighs> yeah, yes. <laughs> That's one of their functions. <laughs> we now start off at Yosefka's clinic. Dad, I want you to take a look, good look at this room right now because you're not going to see this room for many, many hours of gameplay. Yeah. Uh, see, when you showed this to me, when we were... Yeah, check it out. Wow, look at that. Okay, and I need to... Okay, now look at that. All right, Dad, let's right, go over so... the controls. It's important right. we learn the controls here. So, first things first... Pressing the A button is sort of your general pick up items, interact with things, etc. The A button is that. Same like, okay, as, as like, it was like normal. in the, okay. Yeah, like normal. A, A's, A functions as normal. 
Okay. The B button is your dodge roll. So press B as you're moving forward to do a dodge roll. Wow, that's fast. Yep. But there's like a delay to it. Oh, and when you're not, if you and when you're locked oh, onto targets, you can also skip around. You can also like shimmy, shimmy about as well. But only when oh, you're locked onto just... targets. When you're not locked on, you're just doing like basically dodge rolling. Okay. Uh, so right, the the I'm Y button, things. the Y button, your controller. Right. That is your heal. So the way that okay, so the way the healing works in Bloodborne, top left corner. You got your, you see those two bars there, the red one and the green one? Yeah, I see how fucking short they are. Red one is your health bar, green one is your stamina bar. Self-explanatory. Right. The two icons below the stamina bar to the far left. The little red vial looking, that is your, those are your healing potions. In this game, they're called blood vials. And the way you use them is it's it's a syringe you inject your leg with it and that and it applies it's like a blood infusion that applies healing properties it's almost like think of it like the super blood at the end of the the star trek into darkness movie right that's or, kind or, of yeah. that's kind of like what what heals you in this game it's like it's super it's like super it's super it hit, cthulhu hit it's blood like adrenaline it's like a boost yeah johnny johnny mnemonic Keanu you're going Reeves. to hit you're me. going Yep, so, now here's the catch, though. Unlike the Estus in the Dark Souls games, it does not regenerate when you when you respawn. You can hold up to a maximum of 20 blood vials. Anything more you pick up gets sent to storage. So, when you use blood vials and you're down to 12, and you die or you respawn, if you have 8 blood vials in storage, that will automatically refill your blood vials when you respawn. But you don't get anything if it's not in storage. So you Correct. you have to pick up. You, you have don't to pick just up auto excess. blood vials. Okay. Yes. You have to pick up excess and get them in storage. Okay. So and that is never, what heals you, you. Okay. So you always you always pick up blood vials. Yeah. Always, always okay. pick up blood right. vials. Yes. All right. I mean, you're going to be picking up like a lot of blood vials. So basically, in this game, pick up everything that enemies drop, because this game is very consumable heavy. You're going to okay. be using a lot of con lot of one-time use consumables. In fact, my recommendation is when we come to boss fights, don't use any consumables for the first few attempts. Get used to the moves, and then when you feel comfortable, you feel like you can really beat them, then that's the attempt to use consumables. Uh, okay, you're you're already losing me. I, I'll, I'll, just, just let, I, I'm, I'm going let's... overboard. Yep, I'm going. I'm getting ahead of myself here. The symbol below the the blood vial icon that. Hold, hold, well, yeah, you got you got. I, I was okay. The, the symbol, the, the, the little, the, the little uh, bullet symbol below the the blood vial icon. Do you see that? Right, right. Uh -huh. That is your. Those are your quicksilver bullets. That is the ammunition used for your firearms, and it's also. I get a gun. I, that's cool. Well, it it's not as exciting as it sounds, and I'll explain once when we get there. It never is. But not only guns, it also, you use Quicksilver bullets as ammunition to cast arcane spells. Okay, so I've got Quicksilver bullets and... Blood vials. And blood vials. Those are the two the primary bullet. resources that you're going to want to always be stocked up on okay. as much as possible. Okay. But enemies, so it's, it's like, a, so it's it's more it's more like it's more like the the combat games that I used to play where you're always picking up ammo all the time. Yes, or you're just always picking up ammo. Yes. So we're, think of think of the blood as ammo that you just you well, have to always. Well, we're up. also okay. going to need the quicksilver bullets because once we start. Well, casting, that is ammo. So that's easy. It's easier to think of ammo as ammo when it's already ammo. Okay. So. So go ahead and move you move your character around, move your camera around. Let's let's I want you to get comfortable with the movement. Okay, now I need to be blind. And uh, take a good look at this clinic because we're not gonna see this for many, many hours of gameplay. Well, I, I can't take a very good look at anything. Uh, it, so does, it does it does I'm doing like a, I'm doing like a dramatic you're gonna be locked out of this clinic for a long, long ass time. That's oh, why okay. that's okay. why I'm so saying this is like this is a Take one last look. I mean, you can get back to it, but not for like, not for a long time. And there's sort of like a subplot regarding this particular clinic 
that we're going to get to much, much later on down the road. Okay, okay. now turn around, turn around. Here's what we're going to do, Dad. Go forward. Go forward, yep. Open those doors. Press the A button to open the doors. The button prompts are going to be different because it's a PlayStation control scheme. I'll just tell you what buttons on your controller to press. Okay. Alright, now... We're going to go forward, go down the stairs. We're going to go forward, keep going forward. Alright, now, now go left and go around. We're going to go forward across this room. Dad, Dad, turn around, go forward across okay. the room. Alright, he didn't... He, Robin? Sorry. Alright, now go ahead and lock on to the center. And die to him. Just die to him. Don't do anything, die to him. Dad, just die to him. Dad, stop doing anything, die to him. Just, just kill you. I can't hear you, Robin. I can't, I literally can't hear you. Just die to him. Don't, don't, don't fight oh, him. Just... Let him kill you. Let him kill okay. you. All right, you need to get on your microphone because I can't. Sorry. Oh no, Dad died to the first enemy. You told me to! Yes, yes, finally, I know I did. Finally, when I finally heard him, I couldn't hear what you were saying, and then it was like, you're, you're saying die to him. For, I, I'm like getting Dad, it Dad, done without a second. weapon, and, you, and then you're yelling at me because I'm doing it. Shh, something magical's about to happen. But I died. Is this the afterlife? The lore behind this part is a little complicated. So, all I'm going to explain to you right now is... Welcome to the Hunter's Dream, Dad. This is the Bloodborne's version of the Firelink Shrine. Okay. You're going to be coming here to level up, to buy items to travel. However, this is our first stop here. So here's what we're gonna do. You're gonna have a couple of weapons you can pick up. Dad, turn around, turn around. Please stop moving. I know you want to explore, but we got a couple things we gotta do first. Okay. See the group of messengers on the stairs to your left? Yep. Walk over to them and then press the A button. Press A once to say okay. And now, okay, stop for a moment. I'm, this I'm not, stop! I'm not. I can't do anything. I don't know what to do. So. Yep. So this is going to be your no your starting melee weapon. Not only is this going to be your starting melee weapon, this is basically going to be your primary weapon for the entire game. So I'm going to give you the option, Dad, and I'm not even going to go into the details. I just want you to blind pick this. Saw cleaver or hunter axe? Not threaded cane. Do not pick the threaded cane. Saw cleaver or hunter axe? Which? Choose one. I, I want to. Well, I want to say saw cleaver because, but that's also the first thing. But the hunter axe looks like it's like like beefier. Robin, why are you doing this? You're not giving me. Because I know that the cleaver is cool, because I think that's what you were using, but... That's the what hunter, I... I know Hunter is... The is gameplay the you that... saw me when you visited me, I was using the saw cleaver, but I was not using the Hunter Axe. Do you want me to pick the Hunter Axe? I want you to pick whatever you think. Pick, pick... I want you to pick whichever one you want, you think is most... In I'm giving you an option here, Dad. Robin, I'm sneezing, so I'm currently trying to keep all of my guts inside of my body. Right. So, do you want me to pick? What do you want me to pick? What would you prefer? Because if I pick, there's one thing that you would rather me pick than the other. Which one is it? Because I don't care. You really don't care? I really don't care. Because you obviously do. I, actually, on, I, I, I really don't have a preference. Then, it it does change drastically... All right, Dad. How about this? I'll I'll go into you. DHL you're the one that weapon. has that that has the idea of of where we're going. Yes. So which one plays more to that? Why are you? Because that that's when you say, well, Dad, if you'd only picked the hunter axe, you'd be able to beat this this boss now. I don't need those kind of life lessons, All right, Dad, buddy. You know I've, I've had plenty of those let's, already. I'm gonna we're gonna keep it straightforward. Just pick the saw cleaver. Pick the saw cleaver. Okay. And now you're gonna kill me because I have to pick. OK. 
Okay. Now go over to the second pile of messengers. He's press possessed. the A button. Yeah, press the A button. Because okay. you gotta pick up your firearm now. Press A. Pick, uh, pick the pistol. Hunter pistol. Pistol? Okay. Yeah, pick the pistol. Alright, so obviously I'm... I, obviously I'm... 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 I'm we're, we're, we're doing a lighter build. Than, yep, uh, we are doing... I decided build. to keep it because I... Uh, accept gift from messengers? Yes, press, press the A button. Press A again. That's mainly used for online multiplayer. We don't have to worry about that. Now, go ahead and press the, um... Turn around. Look at your I mean, spin your character. Like, I'm gonna see here. Okay, your character is currently two-handing right now. So how do we unto-hand it? Oh yeah, press the left bumper on your controller. There we go. So go ahead and press the start but press the start button on your controller. Go down once to the first square. Press your A, press the A button. Press A again to equip the sock lever. Now click on the right trigger of the controller. Trigger. Right trigger. Yeah, I just did it. It ticked up to two. Uh, try right bumper. Oh yeah, right trigger again, one more. Sorry, yeah, slot two. All right, press A. Now press B to exit this. You now have your sock lever and your hunter pistol equipped. Now press B once more. All right, so this, okay, so this is where things get a little complicated now. Press the right, bu press on the right bumper of your controller to do a light attack. Go ahead and press it, press right bumper. That is your light attack. Pre now go ahead and button match that just to get the feel of swinging the sock lever. All right, now, pressing the right trigger does a heavy attack. Go ahead and press the right trigger. Now okay, press and so hold down on the right trigger. So really wind up. Yep, so if you press it, if you tap it, tap right trigger once, you'll do a quick, you'll do a, you'll do like a, like an instant heavy attack. If you press and hold down, you'll do a wind up attack that does even more damage. Now. Okay. Press the left bumper. All right. So the oh. left bumper. Oh, I just like I just like did the shave and a haircut two bits barbershop shit there with the. Pressing the left bumper allows you to swap weapon forms. So press left bumper again. You're back in the original form. Press it now. Go ahead and press right bumper to do some swings. Hold on. Oh. So. Oh, no, no, no. Stay in this. So, you, so press it a few times. Get the feel. Yeah, press it a few times. Get the feel. I was getting back to the... Okay, so this is like roundhouse fucking... Yep. Pile and drive. right trigger. Press right trigger. Ooh. So, yeah, you got all these different movesets, so... That feels good. And then... Okay. Yep. And then press left left, tr left bumper. And that brings it Go back. Go back to this. And now if you press left trigger... Oh, left that's trigger is my, uh, my trigger fire finger. Fire fires your gun. Yep. And I just wasted a bullet. It's fine. There are plenty of bullets we'll be picking up. Okay. All right. And besides, by dying to the wolf at the start, we actually get 10 free Quicksilver bullets. That's why I had you die to the wolf. And we get our starting weapons and we can just get right to it. Instead of like, look at me, I can, I can fist the wolf in the ass. Which is right. sort of how you actually fight the wolf.